Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to upcycle an old wooden chest of drawers. Now, the whole point of upcycling is to decorate on a budget, and so in this video, I'm going to show you how to upcycle on the cheap. So, before we begin, here is the equipment that you're going to need sandpaper. Now, you can buy a pack of 16 sheets from your local pound. Now. These sheets of sandpaper do exactly the same thing as any other regular high end brand. Next up, electric hand sander. This isn't essential as you can still sand down using ordinary sheets or sandpaper but if you do have an electric hand sander at home then use it because it's going to make your time a lot quicker next up screwdriver or electric drill you will need this to unscrew any door knobs or hinges that you may have in your actual furniture that you're going to upcycle use whichever one you have at home and the one that you're most comfortable in using next up an old cloth to clean the furniture once it has been sanded this will remove all the dust so that the surface is clean so that you can start painting the next thing you're going to need is paint when it comes to upcycling many people use chalk paint such as anis alone or other high-end brands these are generally a lot more more expensive and so in this specific video I'm not going to be using these paints instead I'm going to be using Dulux matte paint because it can be used for the same thing the only difference is is that you're not going to get that chalk look finish ideally you want to use matte paint because it's thicker and it has better coverage if you have silk paint at home then use that I started off upcycling with silk paint because that's all I had and it did the same thing. A 5 litre pot of paint is more than enough to cover chest of drawers, it can even be used to cover one large wardrobe. The next thing you're going to need is paint tray, again I bought this from Poundland because they do exactly the same thing, why would you spend money on something that's going to get covered in paint anyway, like it makes no sense, just keep things cheap, go to Poundland and buy your paint tray from there. Next you're going to need rollers, I bought this from B&Q at the time. Um, it costs about five to seven pounds depending on what brand you want but generally you just need to get a decent brush now the next thing you're going to need is paint brushes now these specific red paint brushes i did buy from poundland and they have actually lasted me a while um, I could be mistaken but when I did buy them they came in a pack of five with different brush sizes. To be honest these aren't the best quality in terms of I've been using them for a while now and I noticed that the brush ends keep coming off when I paint but if you're upcycling for the first time then these are perfect because they're one pound and you get five brushes of different sizes. Honestly, I highly recommend you picking them up because I still use them and I get into nooks and crannies of things. And because I only spent a pound, I don't really care if they get ruined. However, I am going to be using these blue Harris paint brushes because they are better quality and I do have them at home. But this does not mean that you have to go out and buy expensive equipment. And if this is your first time upcycling, then keep things cheap because you may upcycle one piece of furniture and find that they actually absolutely hate it or you may find that you don't have time for it anymore remember the whole point of upcycling is to use things that are easy and accessible for you now we've got our equipment let's start upcycling this chest of drawers the first step is to remove all drawer handles and drawers from the body of the furniture just to go on and why all the possibilities step two sand down the furniture the whole point of sanding down furniture is to remove any varnish and also to make the surface rough this will give the paint something to stick on no, sir. Well, I don't want to be the blame not anymore it's your turn so take a seat we're settling the final score and why do we like to hurt so much I can't decide you have made Harder just to go on and why all the process Don't forget to sand the drawers as well. Step 3. Wet the cloth until it's damp and wipe down the furniture to remove any dust and varnish that may be left. Step 4. Let's start painting. I think I've had it now. Might get a little drunk I say what's on my mind Might do a little time All of my kindness Is taken for weakness And now I'm four or five seconds from wilding And we got three more days till Friday I'm just trying to make it back home by Monday morning I swear I wish somebody would tell me Oh that's all I want Once you've done the first coat, leave that to the side to dry and let's start painting the drawers Yeah, I'm four or five seconds from wilding And we got three more days till Friday I'm just trying to make it back home by Monday morning I swear I wish somebody would tell me Ooh, that's all I want Once the body of the furniture is dry, rotate it and let's start painting the bottom I can't let go of what's in front of me here I know you're leaving in the morning when 
on your way go now let's start painting the handle me with some kind of proof it's not a dream oh. In the end, I did three coats, so that included me doing three coats on the body of the furniture, three coats on the drawers, and three coats on the actual door handles itself. You may need to do more or less coats depending on the paint that you use, but generally, you only normally need about three coats. And so once it's dry, you can then see if the pattern and the colour of the wood come through. And if it does, then you need to apply another coat. Do this until you can no longer see the wood come through and that the paint has become opaque. And that's it, you're done. If you guys are interested, I have just launched my own furniture company where you can buy solid wood furniture that I've upcycled, including the chest of drawers that I showed in this video. If you guys are interested in seeing that, I'll put the link below in the description to my online Etsy store and my online eBay store. I hope this video has been helpful and that I've showed you how to upcycle furniture on the cheap. I would like to thank you guys for watching and if you have enjoyed the video and found it useful then give it a like and do share the video. I do plan to do a lot more upcycle video tutorials so if you guys are interested in seeing future videos like this then subscribe. Alright guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> I think that's not one thing.